hello beautiful people it's your girl naya from naya's beauty channel in today's video i will be showing you how to treat your old human hair if this is your first time watching my videos you are welcome to my channel and if you are an old subscriber i so much appreciate your love and your consent if you have that wig, that human hair that you spent a lot to buy and today it looks like this. Yes, you can restore it, you can revamp it to look like this. Thinking of throwing your wig is like putting money in the trash can. Watch step by step how you can give your wig a second chance yes i'm working on this week that i made three years ago though i don't wear it on a daily basis but i've never bothered to wash or treat it so i'm using a white tooth comb you just use a white tooth comb and you comb from bottom and you walk your way to the top make sure you don't comb uh, the net that is used to sew your wig you just comb gradually make sure you detangle all the knots all the mesh that is matted make sure it is detangled so after i use uh, a brush to brush my mesh I brush from the bottom to the top with my brush. You can place your hand on it to make sure it is well combed. When washing your wig, use lukewarm water and you just apply your shampoo on the wig and please do not scrub your wig do not scrub your wig you just have to apply your shampoo on it gently make sure you apply it evenly and you use your fingers to pass in in between your wig you wash from top to bottom if your wig has this elastic you just put shampoo on and you use a toothbrush to brush the elastic make sure you wash all the sweat that has accumulated on all the oil that has accumulated on the elastic just brush it off brush on both sides and also pay attention to the closure if your wig has one to the lace frontal if your wig has one because there's a lot of accumulation of oil on and uh, just rinse the shampoo off apply shampoo on your wig for the second time and you just wash and you rinse the shampoo just rinse it with lukewarm water make sure you wash out all the shampoo after washing, you squeeze out the water, squeeze it well, and you apply your conditioner. As you can see on the screen, this is the one I'm using. I'm just going to apply.
and I let it sit for five minutes. I'm going to leave it sit for five minutes, and then I'll rinse. Not squeeze, you can just like pull down the water and you use your towel and you wrap around. Just wrap around and you press. After pressing, all right, after air drying my wig for a whole day. It is ready to be transformed. <laughs> so I'm using this brush and my hand dryer for the transformation process. Uh, if it's your first time using this brush, take your time to study it, cause the handle do rotate and be aware of the heat so that you don't burn yourself and uh, you should also know there is always a first time to everything all professionals were once learners so just take your time Divide your mesh or your wick into smaller portions for easy brushing. Because if you take it big and you brush, it won't be straight. Just brush gently. Small to put small, take smaller portions so that you will get that straight match. Yeah, so you just brush, you brush gradually. It's always advisable to use clippers to clip your hair or to clip your wig to keep it in place. It eases your work because it stops the hair from falling and disturbing you from realizing or from having a, the perfect result you desire. And as I said before, divide your hair into smaller portions. It eases the brushing. Because if you take larger portions, it's just going to tangle and it will take a lot of time to brush it straight. You just brush to the top and uh, after brushing, I'm going to be using this protective serum which I will apply evenly on the hair 